be my Mona Lisa. Swing time video presents. You should be my Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa smile. Welcome back to my channel. Okay. Today I did my wedding makeup look for you guys. I did an in-depth tutorial teaching you how to do everything and where to find all the products and giving you tips and tricks on how to make your makeup last longer. So if you want to see, keep on watching. My inspo for my wedding makeup actually came from, I believe her name is Cezanne, her wedding makeup tutorial. I basically followed almost the exact tutorial of the Cezanne makeup. I used a lot of the same products that she used, but some of the things I switched up and then today I'm substituting some of the things. So I'll link down below her um, wedding makeup tutorial. It was amazing. So you guys can look at that and follow that as well. Let's get started. So I'm gonna do my Tom Ford foundation stick and then on top of it to blend it, I'm gonna mix the Armani Luminous Silk because it'll give you that dewy skin like effect but then I'm going to mix that with Born This Way foundation so that will give us a little more of uh, full coverage and long wearing. For the Tom Ford foundation stick I am using 6.5 Sable. I like to just go right in so if you do your skincare let that set, let that dry. On your wedding day, you do want to like nourish your skin, make sure you're using an eye cream, make sure you use all your moisturizers, let them sink in for 20 minutes, then go in with your primer, let that soak in, and then we'll go in with the foundation stick. I like to just swipe this all across my face. Also, this tutorial might be a little long, but that's only because I want to explain everything in depth in case you're using this video to do your own wedding makeup. You can be prepared and educated on what you need to do. Take two pumps of Born This Way on your beauty blender. This is the color Warm Beige. I like to do two full pumps. For the Armani Luminous Silk, I'm in color 6.5, and then you'll also add this to the Beauty Blender. Just do one pump for now. It's kind of a lot, but we're gonna blend it out. On a day-to-day -day basis, I do use the uh, Smashbox brush to do my foundation because it's very quick, but for a special occasion, the Beauty Blender is amazing because it's gonna give you such a flawless coverage. It's gonna look so blended. Nothing will look cakey. I need to go back to using my Beauty Blender to put on my foundation as well because I feel like it gets such a flawless coverage. I mean, nothing ever looks caked up. It looks so natural and so good. Also for photos, make sure you're getting on the inside of your nostrils. It sounds really weird, but in photos, it will pick up the like almost pink tone of the inside of your nose if you can see it from a certain angle. So just like stretch your nose down and get on the side. Also, I would recommend before your wedding doing a facial four weeks out or going to um, an esthetician and getting on a cute little routine. Like for me before my wedding, I did dermaplaning, I did facials. Um, I was doing my facial every two weeks leading up to the wedding to make sure my skin was super clear and smooth and not congested. The day of, I did the Lancome sheet mask. Um, I forget the name of it, but I'll link it down below. It's really, really good. It's very hydrating and it feels like a little mini facial and it'll leave you super luminous. I would plan out your getting ready schedule and give yourself like five hours if you're doing hair and makeup. Give yourself enough time so you feel like you're not rushing and if it doesn't come out the way you want, you can adjust it. Also, if you want to practice it, do a little trial by yourself at home before the wedding to make sure you like how it comes out or you can see what you want to change. So first we're going to go on with the Bobbi Brown Corrector. This is in the shade Light Bisque. It looks like this. This is made to just color correct that darkness in the shadows under the eyes. So I'm gonna take my MAC 195, this is a concealer brush. The Bobbi Brown correctors are very, very creamy, so I only use a little amount. And I just put it in this little dip here to just pull that darkness out. You don't wanna put it all over because 
your concealer is going to lift or look cakey or creased up on you. So just put that here. For me, my under eyes, they are more dark brown than blue. But this peachy pink still pulls that out. So I'm just tapping that here. If you have little freckles like me right here or some sun damage, make sure you cover those as well. Just pat it with the brush because that will color correct that as well. And I'm just patting this on to make sure I get enough coverage out of it and I'm not swiping it and just moving the product around. And because you're doing so many layers of concealer, just make sure that each layer is fully blended before you put the next one on because you don't want to put four layers on and then be trying to blend them all together to look good. That's our first step with our concealer. Next, we're gonna do the Chanel Corrector. This is in the shade 32 Beige Rose. So you're gonna go with this. And you wanna highlight, so you wanna come down a little lower. Just to carve this out and create that highlight. You don't need to focus this so much over here because we do have the yellow one um, of the MAC Prepper and Prime. But this you want to just get all highlighted like this. And I truly feel that doing all these steps for the concealer made the biggest difference because on a day to day basis I just use one concealer and the difference in photos was like life changing. When I looked at like the photos from the photo booth or a few of the photos from the photographer, let me just tell you, that was the biggest waste of money, that photographer, no shade, but shade. Um, there was not one close up photo of my makeup. I was looking through to, you know, use a photo for my thumbnail. There was nothing, nothing, no close ups of my makeup. Okay. It's another story, but in the photo booth photos, the ones that were up close, all I noticed was like how amazing and light and lifted my under eyes were, but it wasn't too white. It just blended so nice, but it just makes you look so awake and it's that difference between your day-to-day -day makeup and then your special wedding makeup. So I'm gonna take the Morphe Flat Edge Sponge and just lightly tap this. I'm not gonna tap too hard. I just wanna kinda blend the edges mostly, but I want to make sure I'm keeping all this coverage. This is so fun. Like, can I get married again, please? I told my husband I want to, like, get remarried on our five years, which is, like, two and a half years away. <laughs> but I don't know if he's down because we spent so much money on our wedding. It was only 35 people. We spent a lot, like 35 grand. <laughs> But whatever, it was so nice. We got married at the Four Seasons in Westlake Village, which is like Calabasas. There's a lot of tea about the wedding, a lot of stories, but we'll keep this just makeup today. For the third step of the concealer, we're gonna do the MAC. This is the Select Moisture Cover. This is what she uses in her tutorial. This is what I used, but I don't believe it's available through MAC anymore. So you can do the mineralized one that looks like this, or I would actually recommend the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because that's gonna be a little more dry than a mineral one, and it's gonna last you longer and stay put. So I'd recommend that. So for this concealer, you're just doing this to blend and make sure it's not too pink. You can feather it up to make sure everything looks cohesive. Now that that's blended, I'm taking the same concealer. I'm doing a little here. I'm doing a little here. But I want to stop it right about there to make the nose look shorter. I'm gonna do a little here and a little here. 
Just bring that light in there. Try to focus this just in the center. Okay, and then the last step of our concealer is gonna be the MAC Prep and Prime. This is in the shade Light Boost. We're gonna just do a little here right on the top of that cheekbone to just make that look more lifted and highlighted. I'm going to do the Charlotte Tilbury Contour Wand. This is in the shade Medium Dark. I'm gonna take this Morphe brush. It is the E8, and I'm gonna just take a little bit of that contour on there, and I'm gonna use my brush to blend it, and then I'll go over with the Beauty Blender to make sure it's you know all cohesive and blended, but I want this in a little more specific area than usual. I just wanna make sure it's super snatched. So we're doing that on both sides. I'm doing it a little higher to start so that when we blend it, if it comes down a little bit, you're still gonna have your cheek lifted. Doing a little on the chin. A little here, cause you wanna snatch this up. Do a little on the tip of your nose, and then I'm gonna come in with a smaller brush to do the sides, and then I'm just doing a little warmth here. I'm gonna use my Beauty Blender to blend this all out. And then just tap back and forth in a little up and down motion to make sure that it's blended and it's not a harsh line. For the video, she used the Armani Sun Drops, I believe, in the shade 100. I could be so wrong but check out her video. Those I think I used on my wedding day. I'm personally loving this Charlotte Tilbury wand. I feel like it's very easy to blend, easy to use. You wanna start the brow and then come down and then stop if you wanna make your nose look shorter. Also, if you want your nose to look more narrow, just bring the contour in. The biggest thing is make sure that nose contour is blended because in photos, since your nose is in the center, if your nose contour is not blended, it's gonna be all people are gonna look at or all that you're gonna look at. So in the video, she also used this. I'm gonna use this right now. It's the La Mer powder. This is a loose translucent powder. I thought like mm, $95 for a powder. It comes with this cute puff. I was like, hmm. Then I got it for my wedding. So worth it. So I'm gonna take a good amount of this on my brush. And I'm gonna lightly bake with this. Just lightly set everything. You wanna do it lightly so you don't look really powdered up, but at the same time, like you want your makeup to last all night. Make sure you get these little corners of your nose. I'm gonna wipe away this bake with a MAC Studio Fix. This is N4, it's a light pink one. Get a little on the brush and then wipe this away. Don't worry if you feel like it's too powdery because we're gonna use setting sprays. You want it to be powdery because you're gonna get oily through the night and you're gonna be taking a lot of photos. You don't wanna look shiny for 
and you want it to last. So I'm going to take my little MAC brush, this is the 227, and I'm going to stamp this here for a little brightness, a little coverage. I'm going to use the MAC Give Me Sun. I think for my wedding day I used the Bobbi Brown, um, what is it called, a golden? Golden something. But use whatever bronzer works best for your skin tone. Just do it little by little. You don't want to go overboard with the bronzer, okay? So I'm going to use this from the Cheek Leaders palette. Because this the hula is what I also contour the nose with. It's okay to go a little warmer on your cheeks, but in other places, you want it to look more like a shadow. You just don't want it too gray. We're gonna come in really close to make sure the nose looks super, super snatched. We're gonna take the brush that we stamped our under eyes with, the MAC 227. Has a little bit of the powder left on it. And we're just gonna flick the brush up so we can blend that. You don't wanna come down because it'll make your nose look whiter, so always go up. I'm gonna use three highlights. Okay, my favorite highlighter, well one of them, is the Bobbi Brown Pink Glow. And the old packaging, it used to be limited edition, it came out for Christmas. I bought like seven of each and then they made them permanent, so whatever. I'm first going to use the bronze color. This is the old packaging. So we're going to use the bronze first to lay down like a nice glowy base. This is the Morphe R36. Going to do a little of this because you don't want it to be super, super popping. Next, I'm going to do a little of the shade Pink Glow, it's the same highlighter. You want to swirl it together because it's white and pink. You could do a little bit of that. And then lastly, I'm going to use the MAC Soft and Gentle. I'm going to use this for my nose with my finger, put a little here, blend it up, and then a little in the center. Don't worry, we're gonna blend. I'm gonna use a little of the soft and gentle in the inner corner to make sure this always stays bright. Then I'm gonna go over it with my MAC 227, the one I stamp with, just to make sure that it's blended. Sometimes you can't tell about things in person, but then you look in photos and you're like, oh, what was I doing? So I'm using the same Smashbox brush for the Charlotte Tilbury in the color Ecstasy. I love this blush. This one is actually what she used in the video, and I used this on my wedding day, and I haven't stopped using it ever since. So I'm going to focus the pink more on the apples. Don't be afraid to put a little bit more blush than normal because you're going to be getting ready like hours before your wedding and a lot of the blush is going to sink in but it will also look really good in photos so now our face is done let's move on to brows so before I fill in my brows, I'm going to use the Benefit High Brow. This is going to carve out your brows and make them look lifted and make your eyes look super open. So do it very thin in the front and then thicker here in the arch and then down. This is going to be like your brow highlight. I don't like a glittery brow highlight so I love doing this first. And also put this in the inside of your eyes. It's going to give you that bright open effect, but by the time 
you take your photos, walk down the aisle, it's not going to be such a stark white color like now. As you blink and as the water goes in it, it like calms down. And I like to blend this down. It looks so good. You can pat with your finger, you can pat with your brush. I'm kind of like patting and flicking it down at the same time. I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Definer in Soft Brown. I believe for the wedding, I just filled mine in. I normally just use like a taupe powder before I would use pencils. Since I have fuller brows, I feel like either is fine, but I love a defined brow, so I'm going to use this. Make sure that you get your brows done, like, I would say about five days to a week before the wedding because if you wax your brows, sometimes the makeup won't stick and then from the side you'll be able to see like super shiny here and then the little baby hairs. So make sure that you do it about a week in advance. Set with the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. This will blend them and keep them in place. Let's wipe this bake off. And we're gonna take our blush brush, not adding anything. We're gonna touch this up and just diffuse the bake line. Before we move on to the eyes, let's quickly set Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I normally like the Lila B, but I wouldn't recommend a dewy setting mist to keep your makeup locked in. And at the end, I'm gonna use the MAC Fix Plus. This is gonna make all the powders blend together and you're not gonna look cakey or powdery whatsoever. The eyes are gonna be very bronze, and we're gonna use a little light brown and dark brown in the crease as well. So I believe I used this palette on the wedding day. You can use anything you want, but today I'm gonna use the Dose of Colors Friendcation palette because the browns are my favorite in here. So I'm gonna do what I normally do, and I'm gonna start with this lighter brown. Just do this in your crease. You want it to be very soft, very blended. It's like you want to look glam, but you want to look kind of natural at the same time. Next, I'm going to use this shade here. It's a little on the warm side, so I'm using a very tiny amount of this because I don't want the eyes to go too like warm brown. I want to keep it really neutral and bronzy. So I just want to deepen it up a tiny bit with this. Just a little, and you want to keep most of the color on the outer corner. We're going to take the darkest brown, this shade here, and we're going to do that in the outer corner. I'm first going to use a flat brush. I'm going to just keep that here on this outer corner. You really want your eyes to look big and stand out. So I'm tapping that here. I'm going to blend after, but I'm first just getting that color packed on. You kind of just want to do it in a little slant and then pull it up. Blend the edges of this. So blend it here. You could blend it a lot if you want the color to be a little less smoky, but we are gonna go over the lid, so just depends how natural you want your eyes to be. So 
So I found these new Hourglass. They're the glitter eyeshadows. They're like a cream in a pot. I got one called Smoke and one called Blaze. So we're gonna do this with a little flat brush. This is gonna go on our lid. It's like so weird because it feels like a powder but then it kind of feels wet at the same time. It's very smooth. So we're just gonna put this on the lid. You want to like have the light hit your eye and it stand out but you also don't want glitter if that makes any sense. So I'm just gonna pat this to blend with everything else. I love these pots. This is the first time I'm trying them and I loved how it felt in the store when I swatched it. But I really like the texture so I hope that it stays really well. You can also build it up depending on how shiny you want it. That was the color Blaze and now we're going to do smoke over top just to tone it down because you see how it pulls a little red. This one I'm going to focus on right here in the center. This one's like more silvery purple. We're going to take our MAC brush and we're going to take our bronzer, which is the Give Me Sun. Tap a little of that and just go over the crease. Make sure everything is blended. You just don't want to see the edges of that glitter. I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Shady Gel Liner. You can use any gel liner for this. And I believe for the wedding I used the Inglot Gel Liner because that's the one she used in the video. I'm going to just use this little mini Morphe M508 brush. Just one a little bit. And all you want to do is fill in this above the lashes. If you're going to wear fake lashes, make sure you use a waterproof mascara, number one. And number two, make sure you use like the House of Lashes glue. You want to make sure that that lash is going to stay on and be waterproof no matter what. I had lash extensions for the wedding because they're just easier for me. I can't really wear a strip lash. She took the Teddy eyeliner from MAC and then she basically did this like a thick liner and then smoked it out and then she also did this underneath and smoked it out with a dark shadow. So that's what we're going to do. The brown is just a lot more natural and less harsh than the black. You're still getting that smoky eye, but you're not having it so intense where your eyes look small. This teddy is like a, a dark brown, has a little bit of a sheen to it though. It's really pretty. And then do it very thin underneath. And then we're going to blend both with our pencil brush. So take your pencil brush. Just go back and forth with this. Make sure the line's not harsh. And then on top, just like kind of push and drag up to smoke it out. You don't want to remove it, you just want to blend it up and make sure there's no edges. So I'm going to use the same pencil brush and then I'm going to blend it out with a brush that has nothing on it afterwards. Keep this mostly in the outer corner. Don't drag it in all the way. Okay, that's enough. Just go back and forth. Now, you want to use a waterproof mascara, like I said, if you're going to use a strip lash. For your bottom lashes, you can use a waterproof mascara as well. Today, I'm just going to use the MAC Extended Play Lash. You want to focus most of it on this outer corner. Oh, 
All that's left are the lips. In her video, she used the Strip Down Liner, which is one of my favorites, so that's what I'm using, is Strip Down by MAC. It's a little darker than your own lip, but you could really create whatever shape you want. And to make it last longer, you can fill in the lips with this as well. And make sure you have a little bag with you um, of your lip products to touch up and your powder and your blush as well. And maybe some bobby pins in case your hair falls. For the lips, for the lipstick, this is how I actually found this lipstick. This is Nude Kate by Charlotte Tilbury and she used it in that video. So I used it for the wedding and it's been my favorite nude ever since. So you're going to put this mostly in the center. You can opt for gloss or no gloss. I'm gonna do gloss. I can't remember which one I used on my actual wedding day, but I'm gonna use the um, Fussy by Fenty Beauty. And just do a lot in the center. Let's do the MAC Fix Plus. Make sure it all stays in place. Let that dry. Okay, this is the final look. I hope you guys love this. This is almost exactly what I did on my wedding day. You can customize this and make it any way you want for yourself, or you can do the exact thing, or you can just find products that are similar to what I used. I'll link everything down below, and I'll also link the video that was my inspiration. So I hope you like this. Bye. Be my Mona Lisa, smile.